Hello and nice to see you. Today I'm going to talk about how to voice modern harmony between horns and woodwinds. Let's start to do it. If you have successfully learned the previous lesson, it will be easier to voice a several part harmony because you should be careful about the lower portion of the several part harmony. The upper portion is not hard to voice. Let me explain it in the graphic. When you are going to voice the harmony between horns and woodwinds, follow these steps. Always start with the horns. Then go to find the low woodwinds, which consist of the contrabassoon, bassoons and bass clarinet. Finally, voice the upper portion with the high woodwinds, which contain clarinet, oboe and flute families. So, let's voice the first chord. The chord sounds like this. Okay, first of all, you should decide how many horns should play and which notes should be assigned. I want to give the G and the C to horns. This is the middle register of the horn. Then, I'm going to complete the lower portion of the chord. The low G and F will be played by two bassoons. Of course, depending on the chord and your choice, other low woodwind instruments also can be used. The next step is to complete the upper voices above the horns. You can choose the timbre you want. It could be just hot or cold or mixed timbre. I want to use one English horn and two clarinets. Generally, it would be better to use the second middle register of the instruments as they are available to play at any dynamic from soft to strong. Of course, this code can be voiced in different ways. For example, three horns, one low woodwind and three high woodwinds. Or four horns, one low woodwind and two high woodwinds. So, I'm going to start with the first option. All voicings are in the C score. Soft dynamics should be used. This is a nicely balanced code with soft dynamics. I use the overlay method. What about this voicing? High woodwinds remain unchanged. Horns are below the bassoons. Is this effective voicing or not? Of course not, because the horns will cover the bassoon sound. This is the less effective voicing. This is why we have learned the combination of the horns and the bassoons in the previous lecture. Which voicing is effective, the first or second one? The upper portion of the chord is the same in both voicings. Horns and bassoons are voiced with an interlocking method. Of course, the first voicing is most effective since one of the bassoons is below the horn. Soft dynamics should be used. Here's the same. The high woodwinds remain unchanged. Horn and bassoons are voiced with an enclosure method. 
The first voicing is effective since horns blend well inside two bassoons. Any soft dynamic can be used. Let's voice the seventh chord with both soft and strong dynamics. If a soft dynamic is required, it is enough to assign each note to one timbre. So, the first bassoon takes the base of the chord, while two horns play above the bassoon. Two clarinets will complete the upper harmony. When dynamic marking is mezzo piano or stronger, you should double the woodwind instruments, especially if the chord contains 4, 5 and 6 notes. So, the lower D will be doubled by two bassoons. Two horns remain unchanged. The upper F and the A will be doubled by two flutes. The same dynamic should be written below all instruments. Of course, you can use other combinations of the instruments, as I mentioned before. It is not necessary to always use low woodwinds. This chord can also be played without low woodwinds. For example, three horns and two flutes. Let's move to the next one. This chord can be voiced with three horns and three clarinets. I'm going to use overlaying method. The horns take the C, D sharp and the E. The F sharp, G and the A sharp will be played by three clones. Is this effective voicing? Of course not. There is undesirable tension between the instruments because of the second intervals. The overlaying is a less effective method. You can find the best voicing than this one. As I said, before starting to voice the code, you'd better analyze the construction of the code. At first glance, it looks like the chaos of the chromatic tones. But this is a polychord containing a union of two different triads, C major and D sharp minor. Now, the code is understandable. Okay, when you are going to voice polychords, try to highlight each code of the construction with the same or similar timbres as much as possible. Thereby, all the codes of the construction will be clear and audible in the orchestra. For example, let's use the interlocking method. The C major code is in the horns, while the D sharp minor will be played by three clones. The lower note also can be substituted with the bassoon as it has a warm timbre like the horn. When a medium or stronger dynamic is required, the upper portion of the harmony should be doubled by two instruments. For example, three clarinets can be reinforced by two bassoons and one English horn.
The next chord is C major 7, flat 13. As you heard, this chord sounds mysterious due to the augmented triad. Again, we should analyze the construction. If I divide the construction, then I will get two different chords. The C augmented triad and the E minor triad. I want to highlight the C augmented triad. Hence, it will be played by three horns. The E minor can be voiced by three clannes. Don't use strong dynamics. What about this voicing? As I always mentioned in our previous lectures, don't voice the chord between different timbres as they have no uniformity in color. This kind of voicing always should be avoided. Of course, the chord can be voiced with a strong dynamic if the woodwinds are doubled. Like before, this is also unwished voicing since there is undesirable tension between high woodwinds. Instead of this, the construction of the chord also can be divided as follows. The C major and E major triads. Three horns take the C major, while the E major will be doubled by different families. Let's voice one more chord. This is also a mysterious chord that contains three different trias. The B-flat major, the B-flat augmented, and the B minor. For this one, I will use four horns. So, the F-sharp, B-flat, D, and F-sharp will be played by four horns. Since this is a nine-part harmony, the lower portion of the chord can be doubled, even at a soft dynamic. I will apply the classical approach. So, the low B will be played by the contrabassoon and the second bassoon. The upper B will be played by the first bassoon and the bass clarinet. This is a quiet strong bass below the horns. The B flat major is played by the English horn and two clarinets. At strong dynamics, the high woodwinds should be doubled, as there are four horns in the chord. So. The low woodwinds remain unchanged, as they have already doubled. The B flat major will be played with the interlocking method, as we have learned in the lecture number 5.
If you want to learn how to find the best devices and how to get these elements and which methods have been used, then let's join the secrets of orchestration.com. For getting discounted price, click the link below the video. What you will learn during two semesters. Part 1 Orchestral Code Voicings In this part you will learn how to voice 3, 4, 5 and several parts harmony between woodwinds, brass and the string section. Part 2 Orchestral Texture Making This part will be included lectures about how to find the best registers for solo instruments, how to use unison and active doublings, how to apply warm, cold and hot device to your melody, how to make an orchestral texture using different methods like the spread, stretch, break, and so on. Part 3 Orchestral Effects Film scoring techniques is also included. In this part you will learn how to make orchestral effects, cause melodies in a different genre such as comedy, drama, romantic, horror story, and so on. During the course you will get new weekly lectures, PDF files, and assignments. Once you finish the whole course, you can easily make the device, textures and effects for the orchestral scores. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me at secretsoforchestration at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.